Well, that was making your mind up, and Jay Aston joins me now on E24. Welcome. Hi. Uh, 28 years ago, yeah. Bobby, yourself, Mike, and Cheryl uh, beat Germany into second place. How did that feel? Fantastic. It was great. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to win. We only got, I think we won by about four points. I think most countries gave us like a point. I think that was mostly about the skirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, the song was quite good too. Very catchy. How yeah. do you think Eurovision's changed over the years, politically, in terms of talent? Um, well, I think the main thing is that we've got so many more countries, and it has gone through some really weird stages. There's always the humour there. Uh, and I think, generally, some countries take it very seriously, and I think over the last sort of decade, we really haven't been taking it seriously. I think that's what they don't like us for. So it's good that we've done this this year, because I think Jade, she's great, and I think the song's really good. The UK's really up their game with Jade, haven't they? They've got Andrew Lloyd Webber involved, he's written the song. What do you think her chances are? Um, I, as long as they like the ballad element of it, I think she's fantastic and I think it's a great song. Um, I think she's going to be a megastar. She's definitely got, a, there's a diva in the making <laughs> there. Um, and it's a great song, it's just that if it really works for Eurovision, if um, you know, if it's generally they go for sort of more upbeat things, but it changes every year, and you know, you never really know. So I think we're in with a chance. But previous Brits haven't done so well, haven't they? We came last. Andy Abraham came last last year. Did he Why? Really? Oh, God. Um, I think it's a lot to do with politics and the image that we have in Europe, which mm. hasn't been so great for quite a few years. And I, I hope that this will change things around a little bit, because mm. we need to be in the top five and not in the bottom five. It's, you know, we, we really need to get behind it, and I think we are, we are we're trying. Talking about image, uh, Bucks Fizz was iconic. You guys were all blonde. Was that on purpose? Were you all natural blondes? Uh, I think Bobby had a few highlights, <laughs> but I think the three of us walked in as blondes, yes. No, we all, I, think we were, I think they had Mike first and they kind of picked us so that we all looked fairly similar. We're all fairly petite and bubbly and uh, yeah, it sort of just went from there. And are you looking forward to getting back together after 25 years this weekend with the other three? Yes, I most certainly am. Um, I am currently back in Bucks Fizz um, and we, the, the diary is filling up and I'm really excited about it. Jay, and we're having a great time. Jay, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.